Welcome back, and of course you can check the full president's speech at the link below. And now with the Friday Night Movie Hunt of um, May the 6th, which is tonight, and the movies that are releasing tonight. First off with the first movie that we have in the, on the list is Jumping the Broom, starring Paula Patton. And finally, finally, the fallen movie gets released, released in the States. After a whole, a whole one week that we, the, the, peop the Kuwaiti people or the whole Middle East, got to watch Thor before you guys do, which we will have the privilege to do tonight in the States. The movie that I'm talking about is Marvel's own and the next Avenger who will be starring on the Avengers, I believe, next year. It is Thor starring Chris Hemsworth and the Academy Award winner... Um, Anthony Hopkins, that's like, that's like the way to present him, I believe. But anyways, the movie, The Riot, which he starred in, sucks. So anyways, Thor, on the other hand, is an amazing movie. It is also available in the 3D digital features and, of course, the IMAX 3D experience. And I believe this movie will beat Jumping the Broom. But why the holdup? Kuwait gets to see it one week before Thor, uh, I meant the States gets to see it. Are they keeping it because they kind of know that Osama will be dead and everyone wants to celebrate his death by watching Thor? I do not know, I do not care, and those are all the movies that we are having. And of course, since you have, I believe, you kind of figured it out that we are putting trailers on the Extreme King of Kings films official YouTube channel, so you can uh, now check the trailers on my channel instead of going to other channels and giving them the free views that I am um, redirecting you to go see their trailers on their channels or whatever. So anyways, those are the f movies that are releasing tonight. And now with some JB related news. Of course, this show started because of him, and enough for thanking his white ass. Anyways, um, Justin Bieber have been going on that tour, and now he reached Australia. Now, I believe he's in Adelaide. The other day he was in Sydney, or was it another place? But, does not, but that does not matter. He was there, and he was interested into meeting the anti-bullying machine, that I like, I gave him that title. Anyways, his name is Casey something. He was getting bullied by a kid by this size, I believe, and this thick or thin. And how did this guy manage to bully a guy that's even fatter and bigger than me? I'm not saying that I'm fat. Who said that? But anyways... How did this guy manage to defeat the other guy who is Casey? Well, he did not defeat him, he just was bullying to him, or bullying him, excuse me, and then the other guy snapped and gave him a power bomb, not like Dave Batista's one, Dave Batista's one, that is, but he gave him a, some sort of a power bomb. I believe you can check that video if it is available on YouTube. I will search it after the show. But anyways, it might be showing in here or might not be showing. But either way, you all saw it already because this thing happened in March, I believe. A kid getting bullied on, in high school and then he snaps and he gets him with a power bomb. And well, what else can I say? Justin Bieber talked to him, interviewed him. And he actually even said that I sort of got bullied in... Um, middle school or high school and well all these type of people get bullied in high school bullies are well actually bullies are weaker than the ones who are getting bullied you know why because bullies ha have low self-esteem they do not they are not confident and well they just feel that they have nothing to do in the future that's like 70% of all bullies end up in prison at the end or just washed up people or low lives in the real world while 25% of the leftover bullies, leftover bullies, 25% of the other bullies do become successful and look back when they were bullies and feel sorry for, their, for themselves and for the ones that they got bullied or they bullied at 
high school or middle school or even kindergarten, but kindergarten, kindergarten or forget that word. But anyways, Justin Bieber came out of his way and invited this guy. I do not know if he's Australian or not. Maybe he just in another district, state or whatever. And all of that because he stand, uh, stood up for himself and making it like looking like a hero or something. Now, the thing that I do not get is he's not the only one who got bullied and stood up for himself. I'm not saying that I got bullied and stood for myself. I'm not saying that I am a bully. I'm not saying that I do get bullied at school, even though I am, and I got bullied just yesterday. Did I stand up for myself? No. Will I? Maybe. Will I tell anyone about it? For sure. But anyways, the main issue here, or the main idea that I'm going to, or the point is, he did all that and even got him on the sh his tour and on his concert to say never say never. Was that the main idea of just supporting the anti-bullying things, or was he actually just promoting his movie? He made him say never say never, and just making him, like, believe in the phrase. We all do believe in that phrase, but the thing is, again, was that just a promotion for your movie getting released on DVD on May 13th? Or was this episode to, uh, to promote your movie? I do not know, I do not care, but get his movie on Blu-ray and DVD and will not be released on Blu-ray 3D, unfortunately, but it might be released later on, but the movie was not in 3D because you only put the glasses, remove them, nothing happens. Anything, anyways, and it's the first time that I say anything, but anyways, um, speaking of anti-bullying and etc., there is also be a star campaign that WWE signed up for or even created and there's a video to demonstrate what is the benefits of this be a star campaign and the anti-bullying association I believe that's what they are being called you can check the video at the link below and we'll be right back with the WWE news updates reviews and of course starting with extreme rules and ending with Final Night Smackdown which was just on the air on sci-fi within a few hours ago or minutes it depends when you are watching this episode we'll be right back 